This episode doesn't make you wait whatsoever, as it immediately starts with an attractive woman approaching a man she has tied up in his underwear in a bed. She climbs on top of him and reveals her fangs and bites him. He initially is angry, but then goes into a trance, stating he'll give her anything. We then see him strung up being drained of blood while she reads a magazine. If you dance with the devil, oh, oh, oh. What the hell? You insane? I think you'll find that's to your great advantage. Babe. Back at Wayne Enterprises, Luke approaches Kate with a newspaper talking about the vampire murders, thinking that taking the case might help distract her from the drama going on with her long lost sister Beth, who is now the supervillain Alice. We find out the media has named the culprit Nocturna, and that the guy seen in the first scene is her second victim so far. They deduce that she's going after people at certain clubs so they plan a nighttime stakeout of a nightclub. That night, Batwoman finds another victim being drained at a warehouse, and as she goes to free her, is confronted by Nocturna. They fight briefly, and once Batwoman gets the upper hand, Nocturna flirts, then bites her in the mouth, causing her to get dizzy and pass out. Flat out, but you're not my type. But you're mine. I'm a universal recipient. <laughs> Seen double? Losing sensation in your limbs? Don't fight it. But I wonder what let you do. I've always wondered what bat blood tastes like. Nocturna ties up Batwoman and runs off as the police come by, leaving Sophie to save her before her co-workers can capture her. Back at the Batcave, Luke tells Kate that she was injected with an animal tranquilizer, which Kate corrects him, telling him that it was a bite and not an injection, which freaks him out. They look for DNA she might have left on the suit and find nothing. They decide to trap Nocturna by planning a party where she will be tempted to look for her next victim. At the party, Kate and Luke spy on Sophie, talking to a woman who they believe could be Nocturna. She approaches the two as a bartender, then cuts herself. When the woman gets squeamish, they cross her off the list. Kate then spots Alice in an alley on a monitor. She confronts Alice, and it doesn't go well. When Alice goes back to her hideout, she begins having an argument with a mannequin, and in the midst of the argument, she's bitten by Nocturna. Why should I care what she thinks of me? Why should I care if she doesn't love me? Back at the party, Kate and Luke are still going through the party guest list, crossing out names who could be Nocturna. When Luke confronts Kate about her conversation with Alice, they see on the monitor that after it ends, a woman follows Alice away. She's identified as Natalia Knight, a woman who just lost her father, who was her caretaker. She has a rare disorder where she's allergic to sunlight and is in a constant need of blood transfusions, pretty much guaranteeing she has to be Nocturna. Back at Alice's hideout, she tries to make a deal with Nocturna to take what she needs and let her go. Nocturna says Alice has seen her face, and what she needs is all of her blood. Alice intrigues Nocturna when she offers her a much better specimen. Back at the party, Mary goes to help a drunk woman and is ambushed and bitten by Nocturna. I don't too drunk for those shoes. You alright? I'm fine. Yeah. I just... I need... Can you get your hair, at least? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. You're sweet. <laughs> Back at the hideout, Batwoman rescues Alice, but notices that Nocturna started draining her, but stopped part way, and wanted to know why, but Alice stays tight-lipped. Kate notices that the bags are held by bell ropes, so she heads off to Gotham Cathedral, believing that Nocturna is probably hiding out there. When she gets to the cathedral, she finds Mary tied up and being drained of blood. Before she can free Mary, Nocturna attacks her. Nocturna gets the upper hand, and before she can bite Batwoman, Alice makes the save. Alice tells her she'll tend to Mary while she goes after Nocturna. Batwoman confronts Nocturna at the bell tower of the cathedral where they once again fight, while Nocturna claims that her victims deserved it for wasting their lives and polluting their bodies when she never had the ability to have a life. Batwoman gets the upper hand in using the UV light from her bat phone and handcuffs Nocturna. The next day, Kate asks the recovering Mary why she thinks Nocturna went after her. Mary says Nocturna told her that she believed Mary's special blood containing desert rose could cure her condition. 
That's when Kate realizes Alice had to have sold Mary out for her own life, then had a change of heart. She goes to Alice's hideout and confronts her about what she did. Alice shows signs that she still feels some love deep down for Kate in some way. As for Nocturna, we're told in some throwaway radio dialogue that she was sent to Arkham, never to be heard from again. Mary, hearing the details of Nocturna's capture, put two and two together and finally realizes that Kate is Batwoman. Nocturna in this episode is played by Kayla Yule. This is not the first time she has played a vampire, as she also found out in season one of another CW show, The Vampire Diaries, which we will talk about in a different video. Thanks for watching. If you like this content, please leave a like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to know every time I update. If you want to help my channel grow, please check out my Patreon where you can get access to content early as well as see the content that can't be uploaded here on YouTube. Link will be in the description. Until next time.